Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Recently, while I was going through my Google Drive, I found a lot of files that were shared with multiple people I might have previously worked with and um, I just wanted to know who has access to the files. So in this video, we'll be taking a look at how to get a list of emails of people who have access to a particular file. So for this example, I'm just having a demo sheet here that just has first name, last name and a few people's names here. I'm going to go to my um, Google Apps Script dashboard to create a new file or I can just go ahead and click on script.new and once my file is opened up, I'll just go ahead and change this and say uh, email or maybe access list. Click on rename. So I'm going to clear this out and I'm going to be opening a new for file, um, function here called get users. Right. And um, before that, we have to go up here and we're going to be declaring the file ID. So um, we're going to be fetching the ID from here. So I'm going to be going and copying the ID from here. You just take it after the D slash and just before slash edit, you copy it. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to paste it out here. And um, inside this function, I'm going to be starting out by just writing, uh, creating a new variable here called file. I'm going to do drive app dot get file by id that's one command that we're going to be using so, and i'll be uh, entering the file id as a parameter after that i'm going to go to and create a new, new variable called editors so i'm going to do file dot get editors after that i'm going to be doing const viewers and i'm going to be writing file dot get viewers and um, after that, I'm going to be creating a object here. Go and say const user emails, and I'm going to be creating this here. Now, um, I have declared the file, I've declared the editors, the viewers, and I've created a array here that I'm going to store all the emails inside. After that, I'm going to be opening up a new if loop here, and I'm going to be doing if editors dot length. I'm going to be opening up the brackets here and inside this I'm going to be doing editors dot for each and we'll be using the for each function here and open up the places here and inside this function what I plan to do is I want to do const email equal to editor dot get email so this is going to be getting that email address and after that i'll just do an if email i'm going to be doing users dot email dot push and i'll be entering the email uh, variable inside this so that's it for this particular if loop now if i have to extract um, for the view now this is going to be the same thing right so uh, let's add a semicolon here you copy this code here and you paste it down here. So it will do the same, but you just go here and change this to viewers. So it's going to be getting the emails for the editors and for the viewers as well. And um, after this, the final if loop is there and we do user emails dot length again. We have the same function that we had made before. And I'm going to be going here and doing a logger dot log. And I'll just say uh, users with Access. I'm going to do user emails dot for each. Put an email here. Arrow, and I'm going to be doing logger dot log email. And once we have that, if I don't have anything, maybe if the array is empty, when I check it, like if there are no users at all existing in that particular file. So I would like to add a loop. Uh, print statement for that also that says no oops no editors or viewers in or for this file something like that that gives you confirmation if there are no users or this you'll get a blank output and you might get confused so this is all for the code that we have here i'll leave the code link in the description if you want to just go ahead and copy that i'll just go ahead and click on save and uh, once we have the code saved, let's just go ahead and click on run. On clicking run, you'll have to accept some permissions, of course. Like.
And here you can see on successful execution, you can see users with access is under ID123. And this email, if I go back to my Google Sheet and I click on share, and I can see that the same two emails are have access to this file and that's what we printed out here. So this is a very short and interesting and useful piece of code that you could use to get an idea of who has access to your files and keep your data safe. And I think this is all for this video. I'll be leaving the code link in the description. You can check that out and I'll leave some Google Drive or documentation links in the description. You can check that out. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and for more content, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.